We celebrate it annually on the day of their heavenly birth in the places and in the manner established by law. Faithfully 
Bawat isa'y iaalay sa Diyos at bayan kong mahal sa sanggalan inyong dangal. Isugo mo kahit saan hamakin ba Pag-ibig mo ay sasapat Sanlibu man aking buhay Sanlibu rin ihalay Sanlibu kong kamatayan Sa palad mo Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is the first Friday of the month. Our priest presiders, Reverend Father Andy Ortega Lim, please all stand. Good noon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good afternoon, Father. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for His full of gentleness and compassion. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, the great listen in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be robbed in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiriyat Arba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan, and Abraham performed the customary morning rites for her. Then he left the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites. Although I am a resident alien among you, sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached a ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servant of his household, who had put charge of all his possessions, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, what if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason. Abraham told him, The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and the land of my kin, and who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his messenger before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from this oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in the region of the Negev. One day toward evening, he went out in the field, and as he looked around, he noticed that camels were approaching. Rebecca, too, was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from the camel and asked the servant, Who is the man out there walking through the fields toward us? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her, and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. 
for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your inheritance. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. In today's Gospel, it is about the call of Matthew, the tax collector, to follow Jesus. During the time, the Jews looked down on tax collectors for the very reason that they are considered as traitors. They collect taxes from the Jews to be given to the Romans. That's why they are considered traitors. Parang ipinagpili sila ng kababayan nila. Umihingi ng buwis para ibigay sa mananako. That's the reason. Another one is, during the time, the tax collectors, they give in advance to the Roman authorities. And how much do they mark up? How much is their mark up, brother? It was not regulated. Kaya, kung gaano kadami ang pato, kalaking patong nila, walang, walang, marang, walang regulation. It was not regulated. That's why there was so much abuse. And here comes Matthew, being called by Jesus. Parang, nagtaasan yung kanilang kilay. Of all people, why this person, a traitor? Ayan. But then, let us learn from this calling. We see in the gospel, not justice, but God's compassion. Giving Matthew a chance. Gusto mong magbago? Gusto mong magbago ang pagtingin ng tao? Then follow me. And Matthew immediately left his post and followed Jesus. Deep inside, Matthew felt that urgency. Yan. Kung iba, baka sabihin, sa lang, mag-iipon muna ako. Bako sumunod kay Lord. Sa gitang Lord, sayang nangigitain ko. Huwag muna, bukas na lang. But no. 
we see the urgency in Matthew. He left his post and followed Jesus. And we pray for that grace when God calls us, when we experience God's calling, may we have that urgency in us like Matthew. Tumayo siya at sumunod kay Jesus. That sense of urgency. Uh -huh. Because I, I can only guess, Matthew saw the compassion mercy of Jesus. He was never judged. Rather, he was invited by Jesus. And on his part, he felt that there is urgency in that call. Kaya kaagad-agad sumunod kay Jesus. And then, second, when he followed Jesus, he never went back to his post. He totally left his old life, turned to Jesus, and lived a new life. Tayo kasi po, lahat tayo. Gusto natin magbago, pero madalas tayo ay nabibinat. Relapse. Nabibinat tayo. Gusto man natin magbago. Ay, bukas din ako magaganito. Hindi na ako magmumura. Maghisipag na ako. After a while, balik sa dati. Yan. Nabibinat tayo lagi. And let us also learn from St. Matthew. After leaving his post, he never came back. And we ask Jesus through the intercession of St. Matthew to have that urgency and totally have the grace to live our own lives when there is a call from Jesus. This rise for the prayers of the faithful. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation with humility of spirit and aware of His call. For every petition, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that in this Eucharistic offering, we may experience God's healing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are living sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us sing good in our prayers, the thanksgiving and petitions offered in this Mass. For those celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries, may God bless them. And for those who are sick, that God may heal them. And for the repose of all the souls. In the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God all of our prayers and petitions. Father, with the faith of Abraham, who followed your call, your Christian people bring their prayers to you. Grant what you inspire us to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, to graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of the sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, or truth in our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Is that we celebrate in love? Is resurrection we confess with living faith? And is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the ships we pray, descending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all we have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Companion, Saint Matthew, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us sing the Lord's Prayer. Oh, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, he may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Yeah. 
to rise, let us pray. May this divine sacrifice you have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may, we may bear fruit at last forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating banal na misa at sa mga patuloy na nakikiisa sa ating live streaming. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mabuting hapon po sa inyong lahat. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami ahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang kamay na mitlukod Lalaganap at lab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong puna Isyong Kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon